Bad luck. Hi, I'm James Morrison. And I am Nacho Elvira. This is Callaway Tour Tips. Today, we're gonna to be talking about chipping. And we'll see who comes out on top in a hole out challenge. Nacho, here we have a flop shot. First shot of the day. For me, my go-to is all about speed. So I'm all about low loft at the start and then just be confident with the speed. So I feel like you can hit the camera man at the back there. <laughs> but actually, because we've got lots of loft at impact, uh, at address, the ball's just gonna fly lovely and high and very soft. So that's all I kind of work on. It's just confidence, speed with lots of loft. Hopefully, it should pop up in the air. Exactly. Something like that. Yeah. What you don't want to do is decel and then chunk it or blade it. I'm at amount of speed at the bottom, yeah. which then creates that height, keeps the ball going in the air. So for me, loft and then just speed. Something like that. So the way I do it is, is kind of the same. I, I put some loft on the on the club. In my case, it's a 58, but when you open it up, maybe it goes up to a 64 or something like that. Yep. Put my hands a little bit behind, so I, I don't use the leading edge that much, and then just go, go quick as well. Interesting, you take a lot less divot than I take. I, I don't think about hitting it higher or, or down. I just try to to swipe the grass. Okay. That's the way I, I open clap face like you yeah. did, and fast and shallow. So if, if you're gonna go shallow out of a worse ally, yeah. Okay, and I guess. How, how would you then try that? I guess we have a decent light here, no? But if yes, we have. Off, off a good light, it's easy to be shallow, yeah. right? But off a. If we have a, a worse light, let's put it like that. You're right, I guess I'll go a little bit more down on it and. And again. Okay. Nice. See, so yeah, again, you're 58, I'm a 60, with a lot off the, off the bottom, because mm -hmm. I like to play that bit more diggy kind of shot. Yeah. So I've always played that way. Links turf, you know, less, less bounce, et cetera. A bit different for us, but. Yeah, 60 degree, load aloft, and then hope and pray. Money. Flop shot done. Should wander over and do some more chipping shots. Let's do it. Nacho, here we are. We've moved stations to a slightly different shot here. We've got two pins. One more, I guess, more of a chip and run kind of shot, and one to a back flag. I play it with one, with one club, my lob wedge and move things around slightly to play different shots. So if I can't chip it well with one club, I'm not gonna be able to chip it well with four clubs. So I try and stick to one club. Even though with, even with the chip and run here, the first flag on the left, I guess for me, you read the green first, pretty straight up the hill there. And I, I would kind of go square face with my 60, a bit more forward lean with the shaft. The, the minute the shaft goes forward, as you know, ball comes out nice and low. So it's a bit of run and a bit of check. And that's kind of how I always see it coming out in that window. I try and stick to my strength and just trying to hit a, hit a sort of low, a low draw spinner, something hopefully like this. Fantastic. So in this case, something like that. You use the same club, but you work with your loft. Correct. So the, the loft and and, and almost trajectory. The, yeah, and the line of the swing changes because yeah. for me, it's a semi chip and run, but not really the sort of historic chip and run that you kind of normally yeah. would play. Oh, fantastic. And then obviously then you've got the, the, the further further back flag. I guess you can almost see that's tip and run too, but I like to take as much of the trouble out of play as possible. So you've got up slope, side slope. So for me, I'm looking for that one bounce and stop. Yeah. So if again, it's the same sort of thing. I'll play a ball slightly back, square face, and a slight little low draw to spin it in there. Something like that. Fantastic. So I really love the way you do it. And I think uh, we can agree on a lot of stuff, yep. especially how, you know, control trajectory. Yep. But uh, I guess the way I do it is kind of similar to uh, the way I hit a love shot. I try to swipe the grass a little bit more than go uh, into it. Yep. So I try to look for the same trajectory, but maybe I, I grab a gap wedge instead of a... That's a gap wedge. What loft's on that? This is a 52. Okay. So I got a, a gap wedge. So I try to find a spot just at the beginning of the green to, rel to, to let it release all the way to the pin. Nicely. I'm probably to the, to the back pin. I probably do it with a, with a gap, with a, sorry, lob wedge. And and kind of the same way you do it. I yeah, probably yeah. put it a little bit, you know, back on my stance. 
to have that ball flight trajectory with a little more check. Nice. That way. For me, it's all about feel. When you kind of learn how to, to feel that distance. But for me, I try and add a little bit of technique in there. So especially chipping a longer chip, that connection. So you see a lot of amateurs get out of connections with the, the duff and the thin comes in. So for me, a simple way is I get a glove and I put it under my right armpit. And that just allows that little bit of connection whilst attaching that to a feel of how far it's going to go. So it comes out, you know, you're disconnected. So I can attach the feel to a little bit of technique and the same thing. So that gives me the feeling of connection. I can keep the speed at the bottom of the arc and then I can spin it. All right, Nacho, talking about drills and games. Game I play home with my buddies on the chipping green is first to hole wins. Fancy a challenge? Always. Perfect, let's go. All right, James, so we move uh, closer to the green. Uh, are you up for the challenge? Very much so, yes. First one to hold out wins. Correct. All right. Bring it on, Nacho. Let's go. Nice. Stay up. Oh. So this is going to go in. Oh. <laughs> that was close. That was not bad. Nicely played. He's made it. Oh! <laughs> Bad luck. <laughs> Goodness me. That was me. two identical shots, exactly, huh? Exactly, exactly the same <laughs> shot. Sure. Oh. Do it. For Pete's <laughs> sake. That's the one. That's in. Oh, it's getting frustrating, huh? Vamos. <laughs> Vamos. Come on. It's my time to shine. Come on, mate. This is it. Next step, Hollywood. Come on. My time to shine. Nice. Make it. Make it. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Great shot. See! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs>